All right, welcome back to the channel, Rented Heroes, Rocket Jocks, Cyber Cowboys. Welcome back. It's Chad. It's Gamer for Fun. We're playing Buck Rogers Countdown to Doomsday, the 1990 SSI TSR Gold Box like Gold Box like game. How's that? And uh, we're going to jump right into the action here. What do we got here? We want to say no. When we last left off, what were we doing? Uh, I'm just checking my notes. It is. It might seem like it was just, just yesterday, but it has been a day or two. Uh, level four. Okay, yeah, we're on level four. All right, we are looking for something here. Oh yeah, Doc uh, Scott Doss. I was gonna say Doc Brown <laughs> sent us to. Oh, Scott speaks. The genie has activated a computer, a high-speed flashcard program. It is learning quickly. Oh, that can't be good. We're basically, looking for canisters. Hmm. Okay. It's manipulating the controls, learning to pilot. Uh oh. No. Not yet. Hmm. Is there nothing? Where's the. Do I gotta... thought I checked. Hmm, I don't know if you're catching this awesome sound. Oh, did I not go in here? Okay. Hmm. Maybe I have to keep... Maybe I'm not on deck four. No, nope, I was clearly on deck four. Hmm. Uh, okay. Just check my notes. Deck three is air sampling. There would be... What is deck... Just checking. Hmm. Ah, let's keep heading down. Yep, yeah, all the way, all the way. I guess deck one is where we got to go, isn't it? Okay, the engines are silent. Yes. Ooh, we have not been here before, have we? Okay. Ladder, okay. Something over here. I don't know if you're catching this awesome sound here, friends, but this is, like, pretty cool. Uh, no, I want to stay here. The controls show the engines have been shut down and a security program is in control. To restart requires access to the control room. Uh, uh, hang on a second. We can't. There's no door in there. Okay. Uh, no. Let's, let's, okay, let's go down. You climb down. Well, according to the gold box companion over there, this is going to be the tiniest. Okay, oh, what's this? This shaft is filled with innumerable pieces of equipment and supplies. After an exhaustive search, you locate a pair of argon tanks and strap them to your back. Scott says, head up to the deck. Aye, Scotty. Ah, yes. Okay, you're at the ladder. Where do you want to go up? Where do you say deck three? Shoot. I wasn't really paying attention. I was 
trying to get on a Scottish accent there. Poorly, yes, but not even Scottish. I was trying to be like the guy from Star Trek. Uh, which I know is crazy, because uh, who, who could who could ever duplicate that, right? Okay. Uh, but I really wasn't looking at the screen. Okay, let's go. Deck three. Okay, that's where we want to be. Okay. Deck three. Uh, okay, what do we do here? Scott or uh, Dixie. Uh, hang on a second. This was the... I've been in here. Nothing. Okay. Guess I gotta go... Hang on, is this it? No. I don't know if you're catching that awesome sound. It's just like, uh oh an ECG strikes immediately? Okay. Bring it on, buddy. Ooh, it's a giant one. Okay. Uh, Cedric, you best just sneak over here. Uh, I never checked how loud the volume is when I started recording, so hopefully this is all good. If not, uh, there is no post-production, friends. <laughs> so... <laughs> It's not like, hey, I'll fix it in post-production. Nah. Not. Not an option. Oh, no. How does he keep getting poisoned? Can you aid? Oh, you can't even aid. I better, like, move you off to the side then. Ah, uh, Cedric, go. Bella. Missed. Okay, Chris, you had better do the, uh... Oh, shoot, you know what? You're right. You do, you do the healing of poison after. Yeah, because I think when they're poisoned, they neither, like, gain nor lose health during the, during the actual combat. It's, uh... We'll find out, but it's a kind of a weird. I think it's different. See, this is the this is the thing. I keep comparing this to the old gold box games, but there is uh, differences. The problem is, it's been a long time since I played the gold box, so I don't know if that's actually accurate. I think it is because I think you can cure poison, or at least heal while you're fighting. Like you could have your cleric um, cast like a you know cure cure light wounds kind of thing or whatever. Um, or in my case, have Chris cast a cure all wounds and have it only take you know an effect of cure tiny wounds <laughs> in eye of the beholder. But anyways, I think you can heal mid battle like. Not 100% sure though. Either way, that's how you talk through a battle. Let's go. Little Brian, end. Okay, so if I hit end, Iron Pants is going to be treated. I want Use Antidote. Uh, yes, let's do that. I've got them. I may as well use them. Because I don't know if I trust Chris's tree poison yet, just yet. Okay, Chris Fawn, Winkle, Iron Pants. Iron Pants is cured. Nice. Okay. But you only healed for seven. That's not good. That is not good. Okay. All right. Uh, let's... I think we're on the right track. Okay. Oh, little Brian leveled up. You see how his name turned purple? That means he's got experience for the next level. I should actually find out what the experience is. Okay, this room contains the air sampling equipment for the ship. 
it could be modified to introduce argon throughout the ship. Well, let's do it. That's what we're here for. The argon canisters connect. With a twist, the valve is opened and argon hisses into the air system. It's working. The guards in the control rooms are starting to re writhe and collapse. The stage 3S are also affected. Hold it. Hold it. What do you got for me, Dixie? One of the stage 3S is manipulating the controls. It's reversed the flow. Oh, the ECGs are beginning to revive quickly. Head down to engineering. The panel there will override the airflow. Engineering, we were just there. What the heck deck was that, two? I think it was deck two, right? All right, let's do it. Uh oh another ECG approaches with tripping fangs. They really like this choke point, don't they? Okay, so you are going to target next A attack. Bella. Let's see if I can get behind attack. No? Iron Pants took a hit. Okay, so... Okay, so Chris, you should go here. Because chances are you are going to have to heal this guy. Okay. Whoa. See what I did there? I explained that last time. Let me see if I can figure out what I did. So the thing I like about um, when you the thing I like about the uh, this particular gold box game, and I don't know if it's a mechanism later on in the series, like in Crin or anything like that. But when you hit target and you've previously targeted an enemy, it just goes to that enemy um, that you're targeting if they're still of a viable combat um, enemy. Whereas I don't think that was available in Pools of Radiance, Curse, or any of the previous ones. You know what I mean? Um, you would have to target, then you'd have to like manually move over and uh, target the same enemy again. And if you're like me... <laughs> okay... <laughs> If you're like me, sometimes you all sometimes all the enemies look the same. <laughs> so you end up targeting different enemies um, between rounds, which is not great for ganging up and beating um, one particular enemy like we talked about last time. Right? Uh, so that's that's why I really like this. I, I'm sure it was inter Oh, there you go. Healed for 16. I'm sure it was introduced in later. Uh, I'm sure it's in the Crin series. It might even be earlier than that. But I just know that I remember it from this series. And that's why I like this series a lot. Except I'll still hit next and go to the next enemy. Or to myself. And it'll say you can't or whatever. It'll say you can't attack. Okay, where are we going? We are going to... Uh, we are on deck three. We need to go downstairs, right? Which I think is right here. Down. Two. Is two engineering? Uh, no. Two was not engineering. Okay, so we need to go down one more. Deck one was engineering, wasn't it? Okay. Oh yeah, we were just here. Okay, so that's yeah, that's the only computer right there. So I guess we got to go here. The override can be canceled here. Oh no, who will repair? Repair. Uh oh. Oh, who the heck is my? Hmm. Who's got the repair skills? Okay, I gotta check my paper notes here real quick. Remember I was saying I got a 
short, short bad memory. <laughs> uh, <coughs> sorry about that, friends. I just had a little coughing fit. Um, oh, I can view. Okay, so I think Cedric was the engineer. Oh, yeah, he's got the repair. Okay, here we go. Oh. Okay, well, it's going to be Cedric then. Let's do this. Cedric the Meek pulls off the console cover and starts cross-circuiting the controls. With the Argon halted, the creatures are free. They have detected your tampering and large numbers are rushing towards you. Oh, good. You can make a stand here or abandon the deck. Uh, well, if I, if, no, I can't abandon. What would Buck Rogers do? The genie skitter forward. Cedric the Meek is still trying to override the controls. The horde of ECG, the horde of ECGs leap forward. Eyes glittering in anticipation. Cedric the Meek twists the last connection. Do it. Do it. The ECG slam into you, but they are already collapsing. They writhe in the air and then are still. Congratulations. The few ECGs left in the control room were writhing in their death throes. Death throws so much so that one kicked out my scanner. Still, my monitors show lethal argon concentrations. Head up to the control room and contact Neo. Remember that these things were phase two of some deadly threat to Earth. Okay, congrats. The team did something. I'm going to say earned experience, but I'm not 100% sure if that's what it said. But I'm going to pretend it said that. Okay, control room. Uh, is that deck 10? I think that's deck 10. Does that mean we can... Uh-oh. Oh, no. Mechanical voice booms. Destruct system armed and counting. 30. Why didn't I save the game? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Scott says one of the ECGs have must have struck the control panels. Get to deck 10 immediately? Ah, uh, okay, so I'm going to save. I'm going to save as B, okay? I'm going to make a note. Save B, okay. All right, okay, so uh, B. We will not exit. Okay, let's, uh, let's do this. We want to go up. Uh, let's keep going. One more. Let's push it. Deck four. Okay, so deck four is where we got to stop. And we have to go to a different airlock, right? Uh, is it over this way? Shoot, or is it this way? I can't remember. I think, oh yeah, I see it. It's the airlock. You see that, friends? See that tiny, weird little graphic? My eyes aren't dead yet. There we go. Airlock. Oh, 25. What? Uh, yes. We will enter. We will go up. Let's keep going. Oh, 20. Uh oh. Deck 6. Uh, we're going to go up. Although maybe I should have, should I have healed? Oh, too late now. Let's keep going. Actually, I couldn't have healed. I wouldn't have had time. <clears throat> uh, okay, so we're on deck nine. And we need to go up. Uh, no. We are very close. Okay, so there it is right there. Uh, yep, yeah, going up. 
Oh, look at that new area. Okay. Uh, maybe I will exit and maybe I will save here. Uh, I'm going to save as C just in case. Just in case I'll rotate. Yeah, C. Make a note here. All right. Let's keep the door in. With the barricade unguarded, you rip it apart easily. 10. Okay, press button or enter to continue. All right. Which computer do I need to go to? Charge forward. Nine. Okay, press button. You arrive at the panel and see the countdown proceeding with a flurry. You type in an override sequence. The computer responds, destruct aborted. Thank you. Congrats, the team gains experience. Lil, Lil Brian has hit five points. Cedric has hit for eight. What? A space-suited man is standing in an emergency airlock and firing at you? How dare you, sir? As you get closer, you see that the face is of, is of no race you recognize. Its expression is flat and its eyes dead black. You reach the strange genie. Oh, is no, is this the stage four? Oh, Dr. Williams. You are evil, Dr. Williams. Okay, so uh, according to the gold box, he has got, I don't know if you can see that there. I can barely see it on my screen. He's got 35. So we're going to have to do some work to him. Uh, yeah, Cedric, get in here. Nice. Okay, Chris, you maybe should hang back. O'Brien, you know what to do. <laughs> Get in there. Oof. Taking one for the team. Little Brian. Nice. Okay. You you better crush. Uh, I have a feeling we're not all gonna. Yep, little Brian is basically like the target practice here, which Chris better just be ready. Okay, so target attack. Okay, we're doing damage. He's down, according to gold box, he's down to eight. See, he, the enemy is down to one hit point and he could still do his full max damage. Okay, so, uh, little Brian is dying. Can I aid him with this fellow here? Yes. Okay, he's bandaged. Good. Oof. Okay, take them all. Come on, guys. There you go. Holy smokes. Okay. Oh, and little Brian's back. Nice. Oh, Chris actually healed you this time. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Team has found booty. Heck yeah. Uh, I feel like Iron Pants has got to take this because he is Martian spacesuit. Nice. Okay, so uh, let's just take it. The Martian stuff is really good. It's got uh, modifiers to it. I can't remember the exact modifiers, but uh, it's going to be awesome. 
Uh, actually, let me view here because um, weapon specialization is needle gun. Okay, so that is wicked. Let's look at the gear. Let's put this on. Oh, and it is a needle gun. Okay, so let's uh, ready that. Nope. Let's ready this. Ready, ready, and ready. So if you have needle gun, I bet you Bella has got the mono sword skill. Remember at the very, very start when we were making characters? I think that's what I did. Okay, we're going to find out in two seconds here. View. Gear. Nope. Weapon. Mono sword. Yes. Did it. I think there was a reason why I was put so much time and effort into that. Of course, with a Martian mono sword, you no longer have um, ranged attacks, but that's okay. Okay, let's do this. Exit. There's something in the airlock. Uh oh, you look in and see. Alone stage three is setting a demo charge. Its soulless eyes peer at you intently. What do you do? I shoot it or flee. Um, I'm gonna shoot it. <clears throat> As you hit it, it falls backward through the escape pod's airlock. The door closes and you hear the pod shoot away. Uh oh. Suddenly the ship shakes. The demo charge has gone off in the escape pod. Oh, okay. Scott appears. Congratulations. I can find no ECGs at all on the ship. Let's contact Neo and figure out how to ram plans to sterilize the Earth. Yeah, let's do that. You pilot the ship back and give your report. All right. Congr something happened. Congrats, something happened. I'm going to say gained experience because now Iron Pants is purple and he was not before. So you've done well. I've assigned you to the ship. I've assigned you to this ship to investigate this ram plot. Uh, okay. We just find a derelict spaceship in space and you just give it to me. Oh, that's cool. I'll take that, sir. Here, DOS examined the computer data and uncovered three vital facts. There's a secret RAM base near Ceres in the asteroid belt. Okay, Ceres. RAM base. Got it. Thanks, Carlton. Martian RAM base. Okay. Gradivus Mons on Mars. Okay, RAM base, gotcha. And what else? Here, DOS uncovered the coordinates of a manufacturing base in the. <coughs> Excuse me, friends. Venetian? The Venetian lowlands. Okay, let's do it. So much for keeping this episode tight and short. Sorry, friends. According to Scott.Doss, this ship was scheduled to return to the asteroid base, so I recommend you start there. Where do you wish to go? Uh, let's hit the old HQ. I suggest you check out the RAM base. Meanwhile, use our training facilities. Let's save the game. We are going to save. We're back to A, right? Let's save it as A. All right, make a note, save, a done. All right, friends, let's, uh, let's call it an episode there. I kind of wanted to keep it around the 20 minute mark, but when we got rolling, we got rolling. I guess when Buck Rogers calls, you got to be ready, right? So I'll try to keep them shorter in the future. But uh, man, when the excitement happens, you just got to like, you got to roll with it, right? All right, friends. Uh, it's Chad. It's Gamer for Fun. We're playing Buck Rogers. We just captured a ship and it was given to us. 
I guess that means they don't have to buy or pay for the one that we... Where did our ship go? Did our ship get blown up? I think our ship got blown up. Huh. Money counts in the 25th century. We'll see you later, friends.